the p black elements 14th group in that the some important compounds of silicon so the silicon is used as a different compounds like silicon dioxide means that is our silica next to silicones next to silicates and last one is zeolites zeolites means the aluminum is replaced with silicon in three dimensional structure or three dimensional network of silicones is called as aluminum silicones next one these zeolites are used in various industries especially for petrochemical industries in that for example zsm5 this is a type of zeolite is that one type of zeolite so these zeolites are used in directly conversion of alcohols into gasoline or these zeolites are used in softening of hard water so these are the importance of silicon compounds and next carbon compounds so only the importance of carbon compounds only two oxides one is carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and silicon compounds are silicon silicates silica and zeolite and next one this is your p black elements for 14th group elements the main difference for the 14th and 13th group element is the third year the 13th year group elements are called as boron family this is called as carbon family the third year group elements is valence is 3 its valence is 4 but boron element and carbon element shows us some different characters in along the group boron is a non metal carbon also a non metal but boron shows a covalent character carbon also having a covalent character it involving various oxides some oxides are amphoteric amphoteric in nature some oxides are basic nature or acidic nature in beryl in third year group elements boron is electron deficient compound and it also available in dimerized form whereas in carbon is exhibit some different types of allotropies we are yesterday discuss carbon allotropies diamond graphite fullerene those arrangement and shape of structures and physical properties generally the ionic radii in a group from top to bottom is decreases atomic radii is increases electronegativity values from top to bottom again decreases because of the increasing of size or atomic size ionization enthalpy values are also dec decreases from top to bottom because increasing of its size so these are the factors we are discussed in 14th group elements or 13th group elements and next one is we discuss a new topic that is environmental chemistry this is a new chapter environmental chemistry introduction so the environment science is correlated with social economics physical chemical so means this topic is correlated with various branch that's why it's called as environment studies so in this environment chemistry means the environment science is interact with chemistry or correlation with chemistry what are the changes are there what are the effects on human being or some important definitions or what are the effects are caused 
in human beings we are discussed in in this topic so before that we discuss some important definition or some important terms definitions of some important terms some important terms that is air water soil some important terms like air water soil now see here the environmental chemistry is a science is deals with chemical process involved around the environment now generally the atmosphere the atmosphere is surrounded around the earth or around the environment this atmosphere the sphere is containing a different spheres are there in that one is lithosphere hydrosphere or biosphere and atmosphere so total four one is lithosphere hydrosphere biosphere atmosphere now in that first one atmosphere means that atmosphere is located around the earth that is our atmosphere this atmosphere is containing a four types of spheres one is stratosphere ionosphere mesosphere troposphere so four types of layers are present from the earth from the earth we going up to a 500 kilometers we are getting a four spheres like troposphere stratosphere mesosphere and ionosphere so means in this atmosphere a significant factor in atmosphere the significant factor is air so your air is your significant factor so this air is undergoes pollution this air is undergoes polluted due to human being or mind kind animals so this is means in atmosphere the main significant factor is air and next one is hydrosphere this hydrosphere is located with are usually occur in oceans rivers or ground water or lake water or rain water etc in hydrosphere the significant factor is water so the water is significant factor this water is undergoes pollution so remember in atmosphere air is the significant factor in hydrosphere water is significant factor 